A very warm welcome to this session, Mapping the World. My name is Stefan Mergenthaler, and I lead here at the World Economic Forum an effort to map global transformations and to provide tools for organizations and people to better understand their context around them. And it's in this regard that it's my absolute privilege to introduce to you uh, Chu Tsujia, uh, who is... Uh, who is an artist, who is a professor, a curator, a journalist, in short, a person who defies simple categories. He uses his mastery of calligraphy, of ink painting, to bring to life the ancient craft of map making, not just as an incredibly beautiful form of art, but also as a powerful way of uh, rediscovering the world around us, and uh, focusing on this, on this aspect of uh, connecting with the wider context of, uh, of our environment. For those of you that are not familiar with his work, I can tell you, you're in for a treat, not just because what we're about to see is incredibly beautiful, but also because it conveys a very important meaning in the context of our meeting here. So in that regard, please join me in welcoming uh, Chu Lausche. Uh, on stage, please, the floor is yours. And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, I will speak Chinese. Uh, my name is Chiu Zhijie. I come from Kafa, uh, Central Academy of Fine Arts of China. I'm an artist. This is my work shown in UCCA. I call it Mapa Mundi. This is a Latin word. Mapa means uh, map, mean, um, Moody means the world. In the past several decades, I've done several uh, many works, different forms, uh, photography, performance art, and uh, drama, and of course painting. You can see in this space uh, different kind of forms of work. I'm, always thinking about that, that there must be something in common which can integrate all of the different forms. Therefore, I did this work, Mapa Mundi, to try to find some logic uh, between all of the different forms. In 2012, I got a Birmingham uh, nomination. Uh, they want to design a catalog, six pages to introduce me. So. I, I'm just confused that how it's impossible that they use six pages to introduce myself. Therefore, I designed several maps. The first, I want to introduce uh, me as an artist. The second map, a total art, to introduce me as a professor. The third map, to introduce me as a thinker. And the same year, I was invited by the Shanghai Biani to be the curator. Therefore, I designed another map uh, as a tool of uh, curatorship. So use map to be a to to do the curatorship. In 2017, I was the curate, curator for the Venice Binali, for Chinese Palace, and I designed another map as the poster. So to use something to integrate everything, uh, different things. This is something uh, that generated from myself. I have a kind of uh, institution to, to, to inspiration to use something to connect everything. I was trained as a calligrapher in 1990 to 1995. I copied the most uh, classic literature, using one single paper, but multiple times. And uh, in five years, it turned into a totally black paper. And uh, I have deep love and understanding of traditional tradition and culture. Sometimes it's misunderstood by foreigners. You can see this, this character means map or picture. But you can here see that the character, the form of this character actually is the map of, of the overlook of the forbidden city of China. Actually, in ancient times, Chinese people started to use um, history to replace religion and uh, miracle. This is a map in ancient times of China. You can still use it to rebuild the ancient palace. This is a map of Ma Wangdui uh, tomb. You can see this is a 
very um, detailed and uh, if you overlap this map and the current map of Changsha City, well, you can see all, always all, all of the rivers and mountains are, uh, as, uh, are highly um, similar. This is a map uh, of um, Tang Dynasty. On the right hand, you can see this is another map. You can see they, all, they even use the longitudinal and the, the vertical lines to, to, to as a uh, net to measure everything. And the Zhang Heng in Dynasty Tang, he designed a machine, uh, called it, um, and actually he, his theory is a geocentric theory. And uh, Rito Masu, before he arrived in China, everybody think that the earth is like a, a, a square and uh, the sky is like, um, it's like a it's like a cap, and actually in ancient China there's a, uh, in China there's an ancient theory of geographic theory. Even in the a theory of uh, Zhang Heng, he proposed the idea of parallel uh, u uh, universe. And uh, this is a map of Kunlun Wang Chun, and uh, in nineteen o two, and the painter designed this map and then to give it to the emperor of China. And you can see there's the island, you can see uh, the name is the island for the, um, for, uh, for the pirate. And also the map of Australia and the Antarctic. And today, map can take us to everywhere where pirates are. Today we use GPS, there are two models. The first model is a um, model of map. The second model is the first person angle or perspective. And uh, this is a sense of perspective. So uh, everything near you is very big and everything far from you is very small. So everyone's perspective mm, is different. Therefore, we need something in common to integrate different perspectives. This is the painting called Solid Miles of Mountain Rivers in Dynasty Song. You can see something um, feeling as a map. And the Chinese people has a tradition to observe people and the people want to concentrate the pains and feelings of others. Therefore, I started to paint maps and I started to think what is the definition of map? Map integrates or world as a integrity as something integrated. And the map has limitations, but meanwhile it also break limitations and borders to break something and connect something. And the map can also connect with another map to form a panorama. And therefore I started to paint different maps, architect stories, games, art, and uh, emotion, memory, medicine, body, even food. They, in a very natural way, to change from one story to another story, and then started to paint map of some uh, imagined uh, animals, utopia or unicorn, etc., or something that doesn't exist, and also a uh, religion, also, and then map of uh, travelers and also map of utopia, because sometimes the travelers, they want to go to some, some places of utopia, and utopia naturally bring the word of revolution. And actually revolution has some underlying um, reasons of science. And you can also go deeper to a theory. And then this drives me to explore more the world and to understand how complex is the world. And one day, I entered the word utopia and also utopia in Chinese in my cell phone. And I found in China, there are a lot of places called utopia. Sometimes it's just a coffee uh, bar or sometimes it's an um, internet bar, etc. But not the utopia as it was used originally. Today, we use a lot of tools and the tools are depriving the or inner map. Everybody, we have a map internally. It's our understanding of the world. Our face, your heart, they are maps also. 
but today we use navigation GPS and but we don't but 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 without these machines we got missed missed easily lost easily and we need to proactively to print map but we sell this right to others we trust in the world that the map they provide to us is good enough so that we don't need to remember the route by ourselves actually scientists they use uh, rats, uh, mice, to do experiments, and actually, in the brain of the uh, the the the, uh, the the brain of the mice, there is a system which can paint maps, and this is a laureate of Nobel Prize by discovering this uh, science. And we need to use map to connect us and uh, something out of my our imagination. I want to stress the the concept of world. In this world, there are gods, there are ghosts, or there's no country. By painting maps, I also managed to connect all of my works. I call it map of trying to understand your works. And I started to integrate all of my seg segmentations. And then I remember my idol, Da Vinci, and the uh, Renaissance. I just thought how they are capable to, they were capable to connect everything around them. And they thought I should turn my map into something VR, virtual reality, but I don't agree with them. I think this should be something conceptual. Then I worked together with some scientists to develop AI map, mind map. They can capture our natural uh, language and to generate something uh, which can be visualized. And when we train the machine, the machine even can mimic our jokes. And yesterday, we imagined that whether in a QA session, we can use our AI machine to answer some questions, to do some performance. And the museums can use our maps to teach kids to paint maps. In rural areas of China, the kids use the my maps to connect them with the outside world. This is the map I draw, the map for the development of arts, fine arts and the society in China in the past 30 years. More maps you have, more adventurous or uh, more uh, you dare to, to explore the world. S the m maps can connect you with the strange things. And in some details, you can see the satellite, the space uh, craft, and also the goddess of China, Chang'e, and also this world is both um, related to Chinese miracle and the Chinese spacecraft. And also you can see the deer, uh, and also the magic carpet of Aladdin, and also everything um, of imagination. In this way, map brings us to strange things and uh, connect connection between us and the, the strange world. And in the new way, we re-understand the world, re-interpret the world. And so the purpose of map definitely is not to build um, bordered region and to protect one country from another country, but to profile the whole world. Any place only connected to a, f to, to, to a place far from this place uh, uh, otherwise, it will be a uh, prison. 2011, I showed this work in an exhibition. I used maps to mimic the most primitive uh, continent. Well, then it, it, it broke into different continents, like Africa, America, and Asia. But this is the map, very original shape of the world I found all the words, words with the, the, the ISM, that means different isms. I found that only one word cannot add ISM. And you can have uh, beery rhythm and uh, uh, screen rhythm or computer rhythm, but there is no word itself ism. Then I realized that um, everything is quite fragile in such a fragmented world uh, because as the world further developed, um, everything is rebuilt and we need to rebuild a lot of game roles and um, different sets of roles. 
So everything is changeable in the international relations or other areas. So that is why I think that we need to create new maps so as to build the connections among different things and uh, let us better understand the new world. So creating new maps can create new ideas. Of course, it is not about international, it is about a world. It, not, it does not consist of China, UK, US, but instead it consists of human, animals, or everything on the planet. Thank you very much. Very much for this uh, impressive uh, outline of, of your work and bringing it to this important message about integration, right? And I think it's beautiful how you said maps help us create integrity in the world. And, and I would just, uh, I'm, I'm sure this triggered a lot of questions in the audience. I'm turning to you in, in just one second. I'll just use the privilege of the moderator uh, to bring this back to some of the work that we do uh, at the World Economic Forum, uh, which we call transformation maps. Uh, some of you may be familiar with this, um, but in the same way as uh, uh, was just outlined, um, we try to help people discover the context of the areas that they are interested in and how different topics connect and how change propagates. And so my question to you um, would be, first of all, your assessment that historically we have been much better at looking at the world as an integral whole. What is it about the modern times that has led, led us to this very fragmented way of seeing the world? Uh, so what's your assessment of that? And uh, maybe as a message for uh, the participants here, what is the one thing that you learned through your work exploring these maps in different topic areas that helps you build this broad contextual understanding of different topic areas that could be adopted by others in, in organizations? Thank you very much for your question. So actually yesterday, I spent some time at um, looking at the maps by WEF. I actually learned a lot through all these maps. So before I create a new map, I will first build a map on my computer. And um, I ac actually, every map of mine is based on ink painting. So every map needs three months to be created. So the maps in my computer and the maps that I eventually create look similar. So I create different catalogs and I build the system of knowledge. So when I look at the maps of WEF, I was very impressed because it's very logical and um, the connections between different things are quite clear. So I think that it's very inspiring to me as well. So I can also based on your maps to create my new maps. So with such maps, we can have more concrete actions and we can respond accordingly. So in addition, by using these maps, I can better realize the connections between different things. And also we can do brainstorming By brainstorming, we can find new approaches, creative approaches. So apart from the normal approach, we will also think it from another perspective, whether if we can find a new logic or we can look at the world from a different perspective. So both my maps as well as the logical maps um, of the forum, I think it actually has the um, similar foundation, but it has different functions. As I make new maps, so during the process, I will make connections among different things, incredible connections. For example, uh, tourism, it's connected with hotels or aviation and tourism and et cetera, and travelers. And travelers will be connected to the famous um, 
travelers in ancient times and in modern times. For, for example, uh, Zheng He or other foreign uh, travelers as well. Or, and also, I will be connected to the modern time people as well. And also, for the space, I will also be connected. It will also be connected to this term. So during the whole process, we can connect multiple different things in different areas. And when I create the maps of the tools, I realize that um, some of the tools are for kitchen, for example, the ovens, ovens for making breads. Sometimes the ovens are huge, and then it will connect it to a house. So whether the house is an architecture, or is it a tool for our life? So I will be very puzzled, and um, I need to figure out all the different concept, concepts. For example, one thing, uh, for example, clothes may be used for clothes itself, or it may be used for decoration and etc. So it has different functions. But when I create such connections, I will realize that the boundaries of things are actually not that limited because it can be put into different scenarios. And thus, I can get my logic clearer and um, I can get it sorted out. Opening up to questions from, uh, from the floor. Yes, sir. Please uh, say uh, just uh, your, your, your name and where, where you're coming from. Uh, my name is Ahmed Wani. Um, I had a question. So, well, quick observation. So, with, with more consumerization of internet devices uh, and, and more penetration of internet devices and our changing work life balance over the years, uh, what we see is people are now more focused in the physical world rather than sort of have the time or the patience to kind of zoom out and look at the broader commonality between them and their neighbor. Uh, so I, I do feel that your maps provide that, uh, that, that uh, could make that possible. And now, the, the example with JD's AI, which you showed, do you think that this, I could define it as a human augmented AI platform could be made possible at scale so that you could then enable all other people to also create similar maps uh, digitally at scale, personalizable to them. Thank you. Thank you very much. A very good question. So I just emphasize that everyone should create their own maps. And I do believe that everyone is capable of creating maps. But sometimes people just give the power of creating maps to Gaudi or other map companies, but we forget to draw our own maps. I think that uh, during the Asian times, uh, people actually will tell each other the map. For example, where are the wolves? Where, where are the animals that they can hunt? So actually, everyone has the capability to draw the maps of themselves. But right now, a lot of mapping companies, they will give us their maps. So we are losing the com capacity of drawing our own maps. But I do believe that everyone needs to draw their maps. And uh, as long as you regain such a capacity, then we may not need the mapping devices. And we can find our way ourselves. I think that it's very important for us to have our own maps, and then we can have our own capacity. So as for the JD tool, maybe in the future, I can better use such a tool. For example, when I, when I am making presentations, maybe some AI tools can create a logic map based on my presentation. So if that can work, it will be very helpful. And then it can help us better understand between each other. For example, we know the context, and um, the AI will help us create the content and the logic map. So we can 
understand each other based on different contexts. Tong contexts. So by this way, we may better communicate with each other. Of course, that is my dream, which is not realized yet. But we do hope that、um, AI can help us create the data sets as well as idea sets, because in the future, AI will be able to catch the words or catch the images, and、um, it will create the logic logic maps and the presentations automatically in the future. And we need also to control the information flow because if there is more in, mu too much information, people will be overwhelmed. But if we start to use such an、um, AI tool and we can train the AI tools with our own maps, then everyone ha will have our own understanding of the world. And now the algorithm. Algorithms are improving, so I do believe that in the future it will be realized. Over there. Maria. Good, good morning. My name is Maria Mjam. I'm a young global leader, and I'm so happy you said that we need to create a new map、uh, for the world.、Um, I organize event mapathons. They call mapathons for technology. We help, we young get young girls. To design their own world, and we call it mapathons.、Um, my question to you is: I've seen one of the images you you show about refugees, and the World Economic Forum and us, the, the young global leaders. This this month we will be going to Kakuma refugee camp, where there are 200,000 refugees. 18,000 of them are women and girls. So my question to you is: Would you be able to design a world displace map for the world to know what's happening around the world? Thank you. Uh, yes, I agree with you that map is a tool, and actually,、uh, I show you a map of traveler. One small part is for refugees, and one type of refugees means refugees are not voluntarily、um, moved. They are refugees, and map is a tool. It can allows us to profile refugees. Definitely, it is yes. The answer is positive. And、uh, for example, you told me that、uh, Mr. Chiu, can you、uh, draw a map for refugees? Another、uh, people、uh, come to me that can I draw a map for green food? And I am driven by this、um, by this aspirations to 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 enter one another、uh, crazier and crazier、um, works. I think I I should not be the only person who draw. Maps. We should use something that make it、uh, a a common tool. Everybody can use it. Can 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 share it. But of course, this technology is in process,、um, in development, by us, and that means how to involve more people to draw more maps. I'm very interested in your idea to draw a map for refugees. You mention、uh, young girls. Of of course.、Uh, Uh, genders are different. I studied,、um, for example, how gender in influence the way people show direction for others. Sometimes girls got lost easily because their maybe their boyfriends are too responsive,、uh, responsible. Sorry, always、uh, tell their girlfriends、uh, where to go, and uh, uh, girls show direction. For example, first you will see a green tree, then you will see a red house, and then you will see something, and then you will arrive. But males will tell the direction. For example,、uh, at nine o'clock direction, you will see a red house, and then walk to two o'clock direction, and you will see a green tree for two hundred kilometer, and then we will arrive. And I think different genders do have different ways to show directions. And between people, there is a there are differences. But if a group of people draw a map of refugees, definitely it will have its own fe、uh, features. And so, set the perspective is very interesting. Brilliant, thank you. We have time for one more quick question, and、uh, I take the lady in front here, and then a very quick answer from.、Her. Raping Xiao from Peking University. Yeah, thank、uh, you. Professor Chu, very good. Oh, in 
integrating. It's based on Chinese culture, but if it's based on Western civilization, Western culture, would it any difference? Uh, About the fine art visual style, I combine uh, very ancient ink and, and water uh, painting styles. But of course, I also use some styles of uh, European um, printing uh, printmaking, especially I learned, uh, I was trained as a printmaker. I used a lot of styles from ancient European um, printmaking styles or techniques. I think mapping uh, map works and it also can improve the communication in ancient times much more than our expectation. The maps of travelers, you know, this is not knowledge from Europe, it's not knowledge from Asia, it's not knowledge from Arabian world. So it is um, knowledge generated by other people. And there's a theory that different opinion that who discovered uh, America firstly. So, you know, there are different opinions on this. And my thought is we need to forget the difference between West and East because now we are entering the world, um, global world, a global perspective. Thank you. And thanks to all of you. And uh, yeah, round of applause for uh, Xu. Thank you.